Bigfoot, also commonly referred to as Sasquatch, is a purported ape-like creature said to inhabit the forest of North America. Many dubious articles have been offered in attempts to prove the existence of Bigfoot, including anecdotal claims of sightings as well as alleged video and audio recordings, photographs, and casts of large footprints. Some are known or admitted hoaxes. Tales of wild, hairy humanoids exist throughout the world, and such creatures appear in the folklore of North America, including the mythologies of indigenous people. Bigfoot is an icon within the fringe subculture of cryptozoology and an enduring element of popular culture. The majority of mainstream scientists have historically discounted the existence of Bigfoot, considering it to be the result of a combination of folklore, misidentification, and hoax, rather than a living animal. Folklorists trace the phenomenon of Bigfoot to a combination of factors and sources including indigenous cultures, the European wild man figure, and folk tales. Wishful thinking, a cultural increase in environmental concerns and overall societal awareness of the subject have been cited as additional factors. Other creatures of relatively similar descriptions are alleged to inhabit various regions throughout the world such as the skunk ape of the southeastern United States, the Alma's Yeren and Yeti in Asia, and the Australian Yowie, all of which, like Bigfoot, are ingrained in the cultures of their regions. Bigfoot is most often described as a large, muscular and bipedal ape-like creature covered in black, dark brown or dark reddish hair. Anecdotal descriptions estimate a height of roughly 1.82.7 meters 69 feet with some descriptions having the creature standing as tall as 3.04.6 meters 10 15 feet. Some alleged observations describe Bigfoot as more man-like 19 with reports of a human-like face. In 1971, multiple people in the Dalles, Oregon, filed a police report describing an overgrown ape, and one of the men claimed to have sighted the creature in the scope of his rifle, but could not bring himself to shoot it because it looked more human than animal. Common descriptions also include broad shoulders, no visible neck, and long arms, which skeptics describe as likely misidentification of a bear standing upright. Some alleged nighttime sightings have stated the creature's eyes glowed yellow or red. However, eye shine is not present in humans or any other known apes and so proposed explanations for observable eye shine off of the ground in the forest include owls, raccoons, or opossums perched in foliage. Michael Rugg, owner of the Bigfoot Discovery Museum in Northern California, claims to have smelled Bigfoot stating, imagine a skunk that had rolled around in dead animals and had hung around the garbage pits. The enormous footprints for which the creature is named are claimed to be as large as 610 mm 24 in long, and 200 mm 8 in wide. Some footprint casts have also contained claw marks, making it likely that they came from known animals such as bears, which have five toes and claws. President Theodore Roosevelt in his 1893 book The Wilderness Hunter, writes of a story he was told by an elderly mountain man named Baum in which a foul-smelling bipedal creature ransacked his beaver trapping camp stalked him, and later became hostile when it fatally broke his companion's neck in the wilderness near the Idaho-Montana border. Roosevelt notes that Baum appeared fearful while telling the story, but attributed the trapper's folkloric German ancestry to have potentially influenced him. Less menacing versions have also been recorded, such as one by Reverend Elkana Walker from 1840. Walker was a Protestant missionary who recorded stories of giants among the natives living near Spokane, Washington. These giants were said to live on and around the peaks of the nearby mountains, stealing salmon from the fishermen's nets. In 1958 Jerry Crew, a logging company bulldozer operator in Humboldt County, California discovered a set of large 410 mm 16 in human-like footprints sunk deep within the mud in the Six Rivers National Forest. Upon informing his co-workers, many claimed to have seen similar tracks on previous job sites as well as telling of odd incidents such as an oil drum weighing 450 pounds 200 kg, having been moved without explanation. The logging company men soon began utilizing the term Bigfoot to describe the mysterious culprit. Crew who initially believed someone was playing a prank on them once again observed more of these numerous, massive footprints and contacted reporter Andrew Genzoli of the Humboldt Times newspaper. Genzoli interviewed lumber workers and wrote articles about the mysterious footprints, introducing the name Bigfoot in relation to the tracks and the local tales of large. Harry Wild Men. A plaster cast was made of the footprints and crew appeared holding one of the casts on the front page of the newspaper on October 6, 1958.
The story spread rapidly as Genzoli began to receive correspondence from major media outlets including the New York Times and Los Angeles Times. As a result, the term Bigfoot became widespread as a reference to an apparently large unknown creature leaving massive footprints in Northern California. In 2002, the family of Cruz's deceased co-worker Ray Wallace stated that their father had been secretly making the large footprints with carved wooden feet and that he was responsible for the tracks. Despite the Wallace family statement, Willow Creek and Humboldt County are considered by some to be the Bigfoot capital of the world. In the 1830s, a Wyanda chief was nicknamed Bigfoot due to his significant size, strength, and large feet. Potawatomi Chief Momsuk, known as Chief Bigfoot, is today synonymous with the area of Walworth County, Wisconsin, and has a state park and school named for him. William A. A. Wallace, a famous 19th-century Texas Ranger, was nicknamed Bigfoot due to his large feet and today has a town named for him, Bigfoot, Texas. Lakota leader Spotted Elk was also called Chief Bigfoot. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, at least two enormous marauding grizzly bears were widely noted in the press and each nicknamed Bigfoot. The first grizzly bear called Bigfoot was reportedly killed near Fresno, California in 1895 after killing sheep for 15 years. His weight was estimated at 2,000 pounds 900 kilogram. The second one was active in Idaho in the 1890s and 1900s between the Snake and Salmon Rivers, and supernatural powers were attributed to it. According to Live Science, there have been over 10,000 reported Bigfoot sightings in the continental United States. About one-third of all claims of Bigfoot sightings are located in the Pacific Northwest, with the remaining reports spread throughout the rest of North America. Most reports are considered mistakes or hoaxes, even by those researchers who claim Bigfoot exists. Sightings predominantly occur in the northwestern region of Washington, Oregon, Northern California, and British Columbia. Other prominent areas of supposed sightings include the rural areas of the Great Lakes region and the southeastern United States. According to data collected from the Bigfoot Field Researchers Organization's BFRO Bigfoot Sightings Database in 2019, Washington has over 2,000 reported sightings, California over 1,600, Pennsylvania over 1,300, New York and Oregon over 1,000, and Texas has just over 800. The debate over the legitimacy of Bigfoot sightings reached a peak in the 1970s, and Bigfoot has been regarded as the first widely popularized example of pseudoscience in American culture.